Hello viewers, I am still progressing with the Casablanca Panama Gallery Edition restoration. I've done a fair bit of work since the last video. As you can see here, the motor now has some capacitors on it for the speeds. And I've also installed the light control. We have the variable speed for the light and the, the pull string for the light on and off. Now, I didn't get a lot of video of the wiring of it because it was my first time doing it and so it was a learning experience for myself. So I didn't want to show it wrong on video and then mislead somebody else because when you're working with line voltage in a case like this, a lot of times if you screw it up, either you damage the equipment or you damage yourself. So if I ever get another one of these fans and I have to do this conversion again, I will show that on video and I will do a tutorial since I know how to do it now. However, uh, interestingly enough, this video is going to be a tutorial, however. So I had a block, one of many in this project, trying to get these speeds to work correctly. I had played with different capacitor values, for those that are curious, I would settled on 4, 7, 9, and 10 microfarads, so low, medium, medium, high, and high. And this gives pretty good speeds in my opinion. Um, and so I got this switch. This is the model uh, Zingineer's ZE268S5. And this took me a very long time to figure this out because the way this is labeled is very, very uh, deceiving and misleading. Okay, so you can see here it says L for line, or maybe you can't see it. Now you can see it. It says L for line, then 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, with the way this is written on here, I thought it meant line to 1, line to 2, line to 3, line to 4. That's not what it does. In reality, it does line to 1 for position number 1. For position number 2, it's line to 2, line to 3, line to 4. For position number 3, it's line to 3 and line to 4, I think. And then for position number 4, it's line to 4. So what was happening was, I had connected this up to my capacitors and I got low speed correctly and I got high speed correctly but speed 2 and 3 were also high because as it turns out this is all connected somehow and um, so I did some extensive research on these switches and I could not find one that worked the way I wanted to they all seem to have that combination so what I did was I went into the switch here and I modified the switch so that it works the way I want it to so actually we can check and, and, and show it here with the meter. So this is the non-modified switch. I've got the meter on, on the continuity mode here. And uh, so you'll see here, for this switch is in position number three right now. And we're getting continuity on three and four. If I pull it again, we should get just four off. One is just... Oh, would be just one, there we go, um, and nothing else. And the number two, well, there may be something else wrong with this. Alright, I don't know what's going on with this anyways. Oh, daggone it. Now the meter lead is jammed in here. Well, anyways, the point is, uh, this is not uh, just a single connection like the diagram would lead me to believe. So, I got this switch here, and you'll see here, I'm going to demonstrate this switch now. This one does what I need it to do. I don't know what speed this is on. It may be off. Okay, so that's one, and we get nothing on any of the other terminals. Two, and nothing on any of the other terminals. Three, and nothing on the other terminals. And four, and nothing on the other terminals. So that, that's what I wanted, and that's what I needed to get this to work correctly. So now I'm going to go ahead and open these switches up, and I'm going to show you how I did this. It's a relatively simple modification to get this to work. Uh, the way I needed it to for this particular installation.
Alright, this is not, you know, I've opened this several times off camera. And of course, every time it opened just fine. Now it's separating more than I wanted it to. Oh, what a mess. What happened? Okay, good. So, I modified this white piece. If I can get this to come off without all these other things flinging out here, that would be exceptional. Okay, perfect. So, as it comes from the factory, this has three copper contacts on it. This one here, which is still here, one here, and one over here. And so as this moves along, it spins inside there. These other two trailing contacts add uh, con continuity to the other terminals. So I just cut those off. And now, now this works exactly as I needed it to work. So, um, very frustrating to figure that out. It took a long time. I did not know that this is how this works. But uh, now that I've figured it out, we should be on the home stretch here. And I was glad that this opened up okay too because some of these switches um, they don't open up very well and they don't go back together but this seems to open and close just fine which is kind of nice because then if, if the chain ever breaks you can replace it fairly easily. So that's good. So that's working. Um, that's finally going to do what I want it to do and now I can get it installed into the fan and finally bring this lengthy project to a close.